This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest stories and interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, I'm never here alone. I'm here with Ewa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshankaya. Hey, What's guys. Bad, bad. I'm all right. How you doing? Right. Not bad. Mm. Feeling good. Sure, you look mischievous. Ewa is not in this picture <laughs> no, now. Why no, you look no, mischievous? No, no, no. I, I, um, our guest in the studio is somebody that, uh, you know, you're a fan. I'm not just a fan. Yes, mm. he <laughs> <laughs> Okay, before we introduce you, you know, this, I love you know, real rap. So many yeah. things. We so, know. Don't let because the cat you know. out of the bag. Hold on. No, let us tell, let them be guessing. I love that. If, if, if I cannot keep secrets, <laughs> I can't okay. keep calm. Oh. But, anyways, before we get to that, so many things are happening mm. online and trending and in the entertainment space. But let's just pick one because if I cannot wait, before he will just send me, oh, yeah, put the guests closer. <laughs> Um, actress Kemi Lala Akindoju is not happy about the way Mike is being celebrated for how he behaved in the house. Um, Mike Olayemi Edwards is the first runner-up from the just-concluded Big Brother Nigeria season four. He has been commended for being faithful and well-mannered, basically for respecting his wife and marital vows. The actress wrote, and I quote, the way Mike is being hyped for how he carried himself in the house shows how damaged we are. When a man is in a committed relationship, especially marriage, he should respect his vows and his wife. We shouldn't celebrate people for behaving normally. We are used to bad behavior, end of quote. So, mm. <clears throat> Well said. I don't think anyone else could have said it better because mm. that's the truth. Like, you know, I, I, I always said this to my friends when they were there, like, ah, I'm on this guy, they try. I don't know um, which of the girls now that when she was supposed to pick a roommate, she picked Mike and everybody was waiting for him to do something stupid. But I think he kept his cool all through. And then I was like, why not? This guy just got married. He got married a few weeks before he came to the house in the first place. Was it a few weeks? Oh, uh, a few months. It a wasn't month. so long, like a oh, month ago. Okay. Yeah, a few weeks or a few months ago. I'm not so sure about the, yeah, but someone just got married. Of course, for you to get married to somebody, you're ready to share your life with them and you're mm. ready to stay committed to them. And you know, only a few of us <laughs> good guys may remain. <laughs> Okay, before she even um, came out to say this, mm. I've always been saying it to my friends when mm. they're having a conversation that Mike, oh my God, is a good man. Like, yes, we can't take away that he's a good man. Mm. But he has wanted something special, something spectacular. Mm. He just did what he's supposed to do. So why are we praising him? I mean, the people that were supposed to be praising are probably the single guys that didn't misbehave because they have the right to misbehave and they don't hold anybody any explanation. But if you're, Mike is married. And I mean, if you should cheat on national she TV, she thought Tony was she, married, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's happy now. I talk. Continue. No, like I mean, mm -hmm. if um, he's married, mm -hmm. if he should cheat on national TV, his wife can sue him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got married in UK, not Nigeria. I mean, Jiget. Mm -hmm. It's not. He, he has not done anything special. Sue like him for she cheating. said. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, I'm um, sorry, divorce. divorce. Yeah, uh, <laughs> see, uh, which kind of sorry, I, down I mean, um, his wife can divorce him. Jiget, mm. it's not like he has done anything special, anything spectacular that we should mm. praise him for. Yeah. To okay, be honest. So for me, yeah, I feel like this is one of our problems in Nigeria. We, mm. we know that we have a problem, but we do not want to accept it. it and i feel like when you accept that there's a problem that is when there is a solution mm. i'm sorry mike did something spectacular it's fine that you people think it's not spectacular but in the grand scheme of things in the i like that she said it shows us how damaged mm. our um our society is especially mm. how we look at our relationship and our marriage like, I'm glad you already mentioned things to Tony, right? He even hid his marriage. Like, we had to be the investigative people mm. to find out that he was married, right? With kids. So, I, I think that it is okay, especially in the kind of environment we are in, to celebrate people like this so that people can understand that you can be a good man. You know, the more you celebrate... We've had, we've had so many wrong examples, and the wrong examples are becoming the norm. And sometimes even these wrong examples get celebrated in some sort of way. So if some but I said it, and I did, and like I said, I've always said it on this show that I did not follow Big Brother back to back. Maybe mm. I watched two um, of the Saturday parties and maybe two of the evictions, and that's all right. But from what I've seen, the clips and the way people have said that he comported himself, I'm sorry. He deserves the, 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 hey. the what is Hold it on. called? <laughs> Whatever it is he's getting now, Wait. he deserves it because... We are just in a damaged society, and that is what exactly. it is. Exactly, and the more we celebrate 
repeat things like this, mm. the society will keep getting damaged and it's never no. going to get olden because a lot of people will now begin to feel like, okay, it's okay for a married man to cheat because the society expects because, But that is what a cheat. lot of people think yeah, already. Yeah, well, if that's what a lot of... Then let us change the narrative. Let changing the change narrative the by appreciating someone who still remains with the norm, even no, when the norm is like now like looking like... like it's 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 a normal life. It did what he was supposed to do. I mean... I don't know. What was what was supposed to go on that? national TV and stand misbehaving or wife? disrespecting his wife? No. The good thing is we had an example, right? Things and also Yes. And we had someone who went into the house okay, and misbehaved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Why can't you compare him? He's not a man. He's a hardworking man. Forget about what and he besides, did in the house. Um, Tinto Tony is a very hardworking man and someone that I think the likes of Alibaba even came out to talk about it. And I think he had a word with him when he came out. And of course, I believe someone like Alibaba would have told him, this is what you did that wasn't right and all that. But... For me, yeah, I, I don't think it is being over celebrated. I, I think it's it's just he what is. It is I mean, I've, I've read a lot of everybody has Fine. become a motivational speaker because of Mike now. Mm. A piece to here, a piece to there, a piece to this, a piece to I mean Mike did what he's at, supposed to do. At the as end of the day, I also man. like that he lived that kind of life in the house, in the house that they expected you to bring Pepe. And he stayed Till the night. That is exactly a lot of people the brought, pepe. So, so, my, the you know, fact that my he lived is, the normal life and he was a responsible man pepe? makes it the pepe. Wait, I mean, you mm. I can even say that almost all the men in that house, this um, particular set, are responsible men. That's the mm. honest truth. Almost all of them, not all of them. I mean, almost all of them comported themselves. She has um, a, girlfriend a girlfriend outside the house, and he, and he kept his school in the house too. And he was chilling with Tacha. It's not like uh, we don't know if anything could have happened though, because of um, you know the. Thank you. At least sometimes I know you so say that. <laughs> you don't know, you don't know, you don't know if you want. Uh, you anything don't could have happened between Shea and Tatcha. No, nothing happened. But, as, in the house, if, 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 if she was a lie. I, mean, I don't know, but let's yeah. just move on and go on a quick bit because we need to introduce our guest. Okay. So when we come back, you find out who this guest if is going crazy about is. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. And people are still by. I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is Emeka Akumefule. He was he was profiled by the New York Times alongside Tenny the Entertainer, Odunsi the Engine, and three others as the new guards of Nigerian music. He has audaciously claimed to be the best rapper in Africa. His braggadocious moves offline and online will leave you exasperated and falling in love with him at the same time. With eight studio EPs and singles like Shut Up, I Told You featuring Terror Akpala, um, Woke, Denied, Not Many, Play, Accommodate just to mention a few. Let's make welcome the confident rapper Blackboards. <laughs> no, you cannot be denied. 2018 held you back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. It is what it so is. let's start about um, now. Blackbones, you call yourself the best rapper in Africa. Yeah. Right. He was a, hold on, before we Okay, get before that, we should talk about the whole Mike thing. Mike thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your take on that story? Mm -hmm. I personally. I personally have like no specific take about Mike and how like people are praising or not praising it because mm -hmm. I believe that human beings are not meant to be um, with one person. I don't believe that. Okay. Well, that's how we build. So you're not I going think, to marry one person. Wow. Yeah, I don't think we're built to actually get married and be loyal to one person forever. Mm -hmm. That's why there's always this circle of this man cheated on me, marriage gets destroyed, because you are fighting your natural nature. Mm. And I believe we are just wasting our time. When but we realize that If you life call that be the natural nature, we have people that have stayed committed to one partner. See, 
what you see outside is not what's happening inside. Do you know if there's happiness? There are marriages of 30 years that they've just been sad for 20, but they're keeping up an appearance for everyone else mm. so that people don't look like, they feel like we divorced or something. So you personally have never stayed loyal to any girl? I haven't been in a relationship. So are you going to get married? <laughs> are you going to get married? Maybe. I don't and know. if you ever do, will it be a polygamous? Home no, no, home? it's not like I'm Something not talking like about poly polygamy. Like marrying. Just once it's done, okay, it's done. You and your wife one. will understand that this is an open, open relationship. Marriage. Like if you've mm. seen House of Cards, that's yeah. the only Smith way. And yeah. Jada that's the only it. way you can genuinely be happy mm. when somebody. When somebody now cages you, all your feelings and every way you feel, you have to cut it and mm. fight yourself for, That's for 30 years to the end. So you agree? To the rest of your life. <laughs> I think it's really you also agree to bad things. <laughs> I think it's making it's sense. Not really a bad thing <laughs> no, it's not really a bad thing. No, it's not really a bad thing. I have discussed yeah. open relationship before. And I think mm. it is something that most people. You have discussed people, or you have tried? No, I have discussed it. I think mm. that have most people tried? should. Have I haven't, and I, I hope that You're I can try it. Trying. Because open relationship can be very peculiar, but let's not let's not take it's away. Well, like, Please, we have a the best rapper in Africa. Yeah, in, so in talking house. about the best rapper in Africa, obviously I'm a, I'm a fan of good music and good rap, so I know you're one of the best. But without no disrespect to MI, because I know you're affiliated to MI, mm -hmm. and a lot of people will uh, dare to differ that MI is the best rapper in Africa. Now, what, how do you want to take away that shine from someone who is kind of like your boss? Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just saying facts. Yeah, as I, like, as so I it's see, facts as that I you are better that, than MI. Yeah, as, I, as I see it, yeah, I'm just speaking my truth. Can you say yeah. that to MI? Can you say it to Bob, his face? I say it every time. Like we're in the same cipher. My first line was best rapper in Africa. And now does it have to that? <laughs> like it's left for him to say his own truth. You understand? Mm. And he did on the same cipher. Called himself the best rapper in Africa. So like. That's what hip hop is about. So in hip hop, we can have too yeah. many best rappers. No, you, you, you. It's based on like it's your opinion, how you feel about yourself. So, yes, okay. There's no crowned best rapper in Africa. Okay. So it's you going and taking a throne for yourself. And if people are okay with it, then fine. But if people don't like it, they fight you. So whatever. Mm. Okay. It's, still, it's still opinions. There's no, there's no meter yeah, or one. Opinion. Yeah, it's opinion. Looking at you now, I'm just wondering. You got your name from your look. Black bones, or oh, is there another story? No, I, I, a friend of mine, that was his name, and I took it from him. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. It wasn't That's supposed true. to be serious. It's just like I wanted to open a second account for something, so I just used it, and that account now became more popular than my real account. Oh, yeah, guess, so, so what that inspires? Sorry, what inspires all this? Um, like I said, braggadocious move you're doing. I see you on, on the streets of Lagos with a megaphone <laughs> saying, I'm the best rapper in Africa. Yeah. And then you did a video on Instagram saying that you, you want wanted to help Bonner Boy, David Three Do, upcoming um, artists. Yeah. Grassroot. Yeah. Grassroot. Then he mentioned them now. Yeah. Bonner Boy, David Do, yeah. and um, yeah. Whiskey. Whiskey. And this is Bowl. Yeah. can be considered as one of the best exports out of Africa, not just Nigeria. So in the what future, is, maybe, is, because is I'm that just in the future? To, I'm just trying to give them a chance to shine. Do you understand? Oh, you I don't think see, they're shining yet? I can see what they can become. Hmm. Do you understand? What can they become? The biggest exports from Africa. So yeah. they're they not, yeah. not yet. So, so that's why. So who is the biggest yeah. export to Nigeria presently? Who else? Obviously me now. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? <laughs> coming right here. <laughs> <Okay. show. laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you just here to complain? Okay. Yes. No, wait, wait, wait. Are you serious right do, now? Do you have anybody that inspires you in the music industry? Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's people, you know, but hard to think about now because obviously I, I'm at the top of the food chain. So mm. <laughs> I'm sure here and there I've been inspired by, you know, guys, you know, maybe sometimes work ethic, mm. and stand, but like music wise, I'm numero uno. So, so what, uh, nobody like, um, who was that person that you saw that was doing great music and you felt that you want to go into the music industry? Okay, that, at the beginning, like, let's that say was, that was you just you know, At the beginning, at the beginning. Yeah. and then you passed him. Yeah, now okay, you have okay. so right. right now, right now, because I, I'm, I'm kind of dumbfounded. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. So I want you to prove it to me that you're the best rapper in Africa because right. I'm a real hip hop head and mm. I would know if this is the best rapper speeding right now. I so I just I want you to speed to. bars off the dome. Okay, I, my name is Elsie, so... I don't need to. Okay, right. no, you have nothing to prove. Okay, I always you, say this anytime. Okay, can we give you words? Me. Can we do word play? Yeah, this, I always say this anytime somebody asks me about stuff like that. I always say, if you see 
um, Mayweather or oh, Anthony on, Joshua. That's, 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 no, if you see them right at the round table, would you say, oh, Anthony Joshua, you need to prove that you are yeah, one of the best. Yes, now let's fighters. play power then, pass no, power. No, no, you, you, you say, <laughs> okay, that's, okay, that's, that's not a boxer. Black that's black not how to judge the boxer. Okay, it's how to fight. So okay, we say, no, okay, fight okay, is okay, just freestyle. Hold no, not hmm? even freestyle. So since you are at the top of the food chain, yeah. it makes you the king, right? Yeah. Or the chairman, or however yeah. you want to call yourself. Yeah, right? the crown. yeah you have all the crowns, right? Mm. And I agree right now. So, because you are the king and the chairman, I yeah. need you to weigh into the situation in the industry now between MI and Vector. Yeah. So, what exactly is My going boys. on? Yeah, your boys. Your boys. Do you yeah. think they are misbehaving? No, they are, I love what they are doing. Okay. Know. It's important for the culture. Mm -hmm. And I started this whole revival, so it's good to see them joining and try to help. Is help it all about the it. culture? Is there it's not necessarily. When you say you started a revival, what do you mean by that? Everything that's happening right now are just like domino effects from my best rapper in Africa, Clay. Mm. You understand? Know, like everybody now feels like I've made the environment comfortable with like rappers going at each other. Mm. It's not like you know before it used to look like, hey, this guy, if this guy, how can you go at this rapper? Like that was in the way the order of things. But now everything is comfortable. If you go at the rapper, it's like, oh, nice spot. And you change you know, the that? narrative. Mm. Because best rapper, yes, so I'm taking older. my question again. Is mm. there a personal beef, or this is just the Public culture? Situation. No, no, there's obviously a personal beef. It is. They, and like, as the boss, they, they don't like each other. It's always been obvious for them. So, MI don't like Vector, and Vector, Vector don't, like don't like MI. MI yeah. As the boss, you don't want to like settle the past. But MI, no, MI is no, saying no, otherwise. It's saying it doesn't have any problem with Larry. No, it's not. It's, it's only not everybody that. that has the right to call him Larry like it's that. Larry, no, it's Larry, no. I know. Not that. It's <laughs> a blast we, are with, we are with the best rapper in Africa. So we are covered. It's not, it's, not, it's not that. Like, <laughs> if I don't have a problem with you, doesn't mean I like you. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So mm. they've just not liked each other because the first time Emma heard Vector, like you said in this track, it was like Vector sort of belittling him on a song. Mm. Do you understand? And I understand how it would feel if. I'm a, I'm a top dog, and the first time I hear of a rapper is when he's this taking shit. shots at me. Mm. I stand, like, no matter how hard I try to, I will never really, you know, rock with that guy. So you get, no matter mm. how long it takes. So that's what they really have. And for VC to, to be belittling Emma in his first verse, mm. or first um, verse in the popular song, mm. right? It means that he also did not really like Emma. You know, so you get, so or maybe for, he was just doing it for the culture. I think uh, we should come back to we're black talking about this There were other quote. rappers. Too. Now that we're talking about the hip hop culture, now do you believe that beef is part of the culture and it should continue in Nigeria? Because if you look at other con um, the Western world, especially America, yeah. we've seen violent beefs like Tupac and Biggie. Mm -hmm. We've seen YG and Takashi. We've seen a lot of people get shot and stuff like that. Now, do you think that Nigeria would get to that level where we begin to probably take real shots at each other and not verbal no, shots? No, no, no. The, the good thing is we understand, like, as much as possible, I, we, we set, like, um, how, how do I put it, like, parameters or, like, we, there's a space where everybody thrives. We, we make it clear, like everybody, like today, I dropped a track with Tentic and Paper Colleon, you understand? Mm -hmm. Like those are people that are supposed to be beefing, do you understand? So we are making it clear that it's for sport, do you understand? Yesterday I was on live with um, Devo Lee, mm -hmm. you understand, mm -hmm. we're talking, and so you get like, it's all for sport, mm -hmm. you understand, as much as possible. It's not like, it's not I hate you enough to come and kill you, you've mm -hmm. not done anything to me, do you mm -hmm. understand? But it's just about the music. It's just about the music. It's about who's the best rapper and mm -hmm. you know hip hop or um, ego and stuff. So it's not, it's not that. So it doesn't mean we, we meet at the club and we don't speak to each other. No, no, it's not that. So we'll still but there are some people then that that's will do some things. Done. That's not real. No, there are some people that will do some things that you will know that okay, this is coming from a bitter place. Understand? So when that happens, you can tell that okay, this person genuinely has a real problem with me. Do you understand? So. Basically, you can call it a publicity stunt, but it's like uh, it's just bringing rap to top of mind. That's what we, this whole thing has done. You know, so that. between MI's track and um, Vector's track, who would you say is bitter right now? Who is bitter? Mm -hmm. Do you think any one of them is bitter? No, I don't like. I think both of them are, are approaching the beef the way they are supposed to approach it. You mm. understand? So it, I can't tell if anybody's bitter, and I even think both of them are, are you know utilizing the moment to like. 
to achieve bigger things than just beef. For example, MI is going on in the steak store, mm -hmm. he did the Big Brother thing, you know, like he's selling merchandise. You understand? Mm -hmm. Vector is about to drop a song with Davido. Do you understand? Like it's everybody's awesome. really Comfort. focused on the, on the real goal. They are mm -hmm. not like, how do I completely kill this guy? All I want to do is, they are thinking of, they are actually Business. focused on what what's more important. Do you understand? Which I love. You know, that's the same thing when I did my track. While I was doing it, I, I was recording sort of, and I knew what I intend, intended to achieve. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So like, if you if you dwell in beef and you have no other plan, that's when it becomes messed up. But you have mm -hmm. to always have like a a plan, if a, a follow up. How what do you do next? You can't just keep keep beefing forever. Okay, right. very so quickly, shut up what do one. we? Expect? Our time is up, but it needs okay. to wrap also. But what well, let's do we talk expect about the song from right you? Now. Do yeah. Yeah, so Shut Up, I just released this from an EP mm -hmm. coming out um, 25th of this month. Yeah, so so um, it's going to drop and it's going to be a banger. You know, my alter ego called Mr. Bombastic. Yeah, so that, that's like a groovy guy and that's that's who's releasing the project. Yeah, so, so hopefully it comes out, it does what I expect it to do and, you know, I complete my transition to the What's the difference between Black and Mr. Bombastic? Black is a rapper, Mr. Bombastic is not a rapper. Okay, so it's time for you to at least freestyle. Like I said. <laughs> okay, just give us a verse or something from Shut Up or something. Mm -hmm. just Tell him something. I shut up. Who are you talking to? <laughs> right, I guess that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And I, like I always say, you can join the conversation by using the hashtag on social media, the hashtag Tea Time, or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ifeolu Oshoke and Ewa Ritu, and the entire production team. And of course, our studio guest, Black Bones. Thank you for being here. Remember, you can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. I'm Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching.